Hi, Juan. Juan Carlos, how are you? Good evening, teacher. I'm fine. And you? Good. I'm fine, too. It's good to see you. Me too, teacher. How was your weekend? Not too bad. I work a lot, uh, but I, I, the hands on the I don't know. You, you rested. I rested. <laughs> yes. Good. That's very important. It's very important to be able to rest, right? Because uh, that's what the weekend is for. It's to be able to recharge our energy, right? Because, uh, yes. you know, we're, we're so tired from from the rest of the of the week that it's important to to be able to to rest and and um, and recharge your batteries. Yeah. So it was a, it was a nice relaxing weekend. Did you have a nice relaxing weekend? Yes, yes, I was. Um, I was study to um, yesterday morning. Uh, <laughs> uh, I not understand something, something lecture, but uh, when I study, I I understand uh, uh, too much. Okay, good, yeah. It's important to um, to ask any questions that you have. If you don't understand a topic, you can always ask, right? That's that's important. So wh what questions do you have? Um, uh, about the class, uh, when that, we receive no uh, is the wish to uh, the, the new class the new, new class sorry sorry i i didn't understand could you repeat that uh, the las clases perdón <laughs> sí. la de las clases que hemos visto no es de del wish de, de lo que esperamos ver imagino ahora Oh, okay. So this is for future classes. Yes, exactly. Okay, I understand. Okay. All right. Well, class, welcome. Welcome the rest of you. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Very well, thank you. Good evening. How was the weekend? The weekend was good, teacher because we wrestle Saturday and Sunday. Oh. Yay, okay, good. That's important. It's important to rest, yes. Good, good, yes. good. What did you do? Um, like when you say you rested, what, what, what did you sleep? Did, were you in your hammock? Did you go to the beach? What? No, uh, this Saturday I couldn't go to any place. I just relaxed in home, uh, just to eat on Sunday. But uh, yeah, breakfast. Uh -huh. You you had breakfast. You went out for 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 breakfast on Sunday. Yes, in tres cerditos. <laughs> I love I've that never, place. I've never heard of that place. Where is that? It's near of Desvio Pico. How do you say Desvio? Or do you have to say equal Desvio Pico? Um, the exit. The exit to Pico. Ah, okay. It's a good place. And there aren't 
uh, many crowd. No, there aren't crowd. Uh, if not crowd, a crowd place. Uh -huh. Not a crowded place. Uh, yes, teacher. Oh, good. Okay, that's nice. That's nice. And mm -hmm. um, is what what kind of food do they have there? Beans, uh, eggs, chorizo. <laughs> Sausage, cream, uh, okay, sausage, uh, cream. You can ask for a homelette. Mm, mm -hmm. Delicious. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you're making me hungry right now. <laughs> I'm hungry too. Oh no. Right? I, I'm not the uh -oh. only one. <laughs> Okay, good, good. Anybody else did anything interesting on the weekend? Sorry? Did you do anything interesting on the weekend? Anybody? Not really. I think uh, today I went to the volcano, I think. To the volcano? Volcano. Parque el Boquero. <laughs> oh, okay, okay. Yes, right. yes. I have, uh, it was today and yesterday I, I um, had a date with a friend and we went we went to i really don't remember the name of the restaurant but it was really cool because uh we uh, already have many years ago uh without uh, we have seen each other oh how interesting okay good good i'm glad to hear that um okay well um Okay, guys. Um, well, I'm glad to see you once again. Um, how did you do with the um, with the midterm? Everybody has finished the midterm. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. We have finished the midterm, teacher. Okay. Okay. Good. Because um, actually. What I wanted to do is, um, is make, okay, I, I want to make sure that everybody is, um, that, that everybody is really, um, doing, like, uh, doing the section that you're supposed to be doing, right? So, um, what I'm going to do is, um, at some point during the class, I'm going to be, um, passing a survey to know what section you are on. But um, yes, everybody should, in theory, should have been able to finish um, the section one, two, and three, and the midterm. That's, that's the idea, okay? Um, okay, so in, um, but before, well, what we're gonna do right now is we're going to start with a new topic which is actually part of still top, um, from section three. So if there's something from section three that you didn't understand, it's probably this topic that we haven't looked at yet, okay? So I'm going to show you right now, I'm going to teach you. This is actually a topic about wishing. What you wish could be different about the present, okay? Um, so um, normally what we do is we say, wow, I, I, I wish we could change um, the, not the past, but the present. I wish things would dip, were different in the present, right? Okay, but obviously these are things that are, they're hypothetical, right? Because pretty much um, you cannot change, you know, the present or you can probably change the future but not so much the present. 
Um, right, so, so what we're going to do right now is we're going to be learning about wishes, okay? Um, so let me share with you the whiteboard and tell me if you can see it. I can see. I can see the whiteboard, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, so as I was saying, we're going to be talking about wishes. Now, these are wishes about the present that we would want to be different, okay? But in order to be able to identify um, what, how to make the wishes, we have to first identify what is reality. So I'm going to put here reality. Okay, so let's talk about reality. What is, is real in this moment? Well, um, for example, maybe we can say um, I am broke, <laughs> to give you an example. Do you understand, excuse me, do you understand what it means to, uh, to, be, to be broke when you say I am broke? Do you understand yeah, that? You have it's, it's something like we don't have any money. Exactly, yeah, you don't have any money, okay? So it says I am broke means I don't have any money, okay? Um, all right, um, I'll give you another one. I'm tired. Okay, yeah, I'm tired. You're right. But I want to actually use um, something. I we want to use the verb to be. So I'm going to be using another thing that is not the verb to be. But yes, you could be. You could say I am tired. That's fine. Okay, so once again, this is our this is our reality, right? We have to wear face masks at all times in public, right? That's our reality, right? Um, and I'll give you one more. We have a lot of problems of violence in El Salvador.
Okay, I'm actually going to change um, the word have um, to another verb so we don't confuse it with this one. Um, we're going to say... Okay, um, we experienced so much violence in El Salvador, and I'll give you one more. Okay, let's throw in that fun one. <laughs> okay, my mom won't let me get married with the person I love. Okay, that's just me fun. <laughs> okay, so anyways, um, these are just, I mean, these are just sentences. Um, some of them may be true for you, some of them may not. But I'm just, the, there's, there's a reason why I have chosen these sentences. First of all, I want you to be able to identify the verb that is used in each one of them, okay? So in the first one, what is the verb we use? I. No, the verb. Mm, verb. <clears throat> Brock. No, um, verb to be. Verb. Exactly, it's the verb to be. The next one, what what is the verb that we are using here? Where? Have. Good. We are different. Yeah. Um. It's actually just. It's not just. It's not just have. It's not just wear. It's actually have to wear. The whole thing is part of the, the 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 verb, right? Because have to is the model auxiliary, and wear is the main verb. Okay. Next, um, we use, we experience so much violence in El Salvador. What is the verb? Experience. 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 Very good. Okay. Over here in this one, my mom will let me get married with the person I love. Mary, let me get let me get get, get Mary. Let me get let me let me get married. Okay, not just let, but want want want. Won't let me get married. Won't. Won't let. Exactly. Won't let. Won't let. Won't is the auxiliary and let is the main verb. Okay? Just like this one, right? The main, the, the model auxiliary is have to and the main verb is where. Okay? Um, just so that it's completely clear, um, let me actually um, just highlight... Uh, sorry, I'm going to um, circle just the uh, the the um, model auxiliary. Okay, and so the model auxiliary is part of the verb, but it's very specific. So in that case, it would be uh, won't. Right? Okay. So won't for this one and have to for this one. Okay. So so far so good. Yeah. 
You can repeat, teacher, please. Sure. Um, okay. The, ver the verb part has been is the one that is in um, is underlined, right, in red. But in this one and this one, both of these have contain a model auxiliary and a, and a main verb. In this case, the model auxiliary is have to. In this one, the model auxiliary is won't. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Okay, great. So now that we have identified that, what we need to know when we are expressing wishes is we have to understand what is the past of each verb, okay? So what we're going to do is basically, because we're expressing a wish, something that is like, let's say hypothetical, because we can't really change the present. Maybe the future, yes, but the present, not so much, right? So I am broke in this moment. I can change things in the future, but I can't change my situation in this moment. I can't just automatically, poof, I'm not broke anymore in this moment. Does that make sense? Yes. 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 Okay, good. So, since that makes sense to you, what we're going to be doing is we have to identify then what is the um the the past Hello? verb Okay, we have to identify the oh, past yeah. of the verb. Okay, um, so what we're going to do. Okay, okay. A moment. Can you repeat, teacher? I can hear. Yeah, okay, here we go. So I'm going to repeat. Um, now that we have identified what the verb is, we have to identify what is the sim the past of the verb. What is the past of the verb? Okay. Once we identify the past of the world of the verb, everything else should be simple. Okay. So, um, all right. So I'm going to actually put this over here so that it's not so difficult and I'm actually going to put this in a color and let's say let's put it in a blue let's put it in blue okay so what is um oh hold on what is the past of m was very good okay so I am broke present I was broke in the past okay now over here let's let's um so over here okay so what is the past of have to wear had had to wear had to wear, had to wear. right very good had to wear okay so had to wear there you go all right now what's the past of experience had experience or experience? Sorry, which one? What's the past of experience? Experience. Okay, experience, good. All right. Now, what is the past of won't let? Wasn't lent? Wasn't lent? No. Weren't? What is the past of won't or would not or will will not? Went. Cool. Won't. Went. Not. Sorry, I, I heard some, I, I heard a guy. Was say, not. Is was Max 
Max? Will not. Max, Max, we have an answer? Yeah, yeah, it's one. The pasos win, won, won. It's a irregular verb. Did you say won't? Yeah, won. No. Okay, the passive of won't is? Will not. Won't. Uh, no, no won't. will not is the complete form, right? So, um, so the will, won't is short for will not. Okay. So I don't know, teacher, sorry. Wouldn't. Okay, good, wouldn't. Okay, excellent. All right, excellent, perfect, there you go. Wouldn't, okay? No, the no, no. would no, no. is wouldn't, okay? Got it? So does that make sense? Got it. Uh, Yes, teacher. Teacher and Linda have hand rise. Oh, okay. Um, all right, and Linda, you had a question or something? You wanted to say something? No, no, thank you. Thank you. Okay, sorry, I, I didn't notice before. Sorry. It's just that uh, from from my point of view, I can't, I can't, I'm not able to see everybody at the same time. Um, so that's why it makes it a little bit difficult. But um, yeah. Um, okay. Yeah. If you guys could just do me a big favor, everybody, um, so that everybody can hear the class perfectly. Just make sure that if you participate, there's nothing wrong with participating, okay? But just make sure that you turn off the microphone when you finish participating, okay? I want people to participate. I just I just would like you just to be careful not to leave the microphone open, okay? That way everybody can hear. Okay, um, so anyways, all right. So the, is this, oh, sorry, before we continue. All right, so won't let the passive won't let is? Kelly. Wouldn't. Let. Exactly. Wouldn't let. let. The passive won't let is wouldn't let. Is that clear for everybody? Excellent detail. Okay, but but we haven't finished. Okay, we haven't finished because what I told you before was that this is the reality, and what we're doing is we want to go to a wish, something that Billy. is not true, something that is um, completely. Um, like a fantasy, let's say it's a hypothetical situation that we're not going to change. So in order to show that it's the opposite of what you want, like I am broke, but you don't want to be broke. You want the opposite. You don't want to be broke. Okay? Um, All right, so it, you don't want the situation, the current situation, you don't want it. You want something different. So because you want something different, then we're not going to stick to the to the same. We're going to be changing it to the opposite. So if this is if this one is affirmative, we're going to change it to the negative. OK, so what is the past of am it was but we want to put the negative of was we want to put the opposite so what is the opposite of was what's the negative wasn't 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 perfect okay good what about had to what is the opposite of had to had not
How, how do you change had to to the negative? Hadn't to work. No. Haven't. No. Could. Weren't. I'll put it very simple. What is the negative of had? Hadn't. Had no. 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 If I say to you, I had a dog, what is the negative? I? Uh, no. I, I don't, don't have. have. I don't have. I don't have. Okay, that, good. Okay. But that's the present. <laughs> I don't have is the present. What about the past? I didn't I have. Didn't have. I, didn't have. I, didn't have. I didn't have. Very good. The passive had to would be? Didn't have. Didn't have. Exactly. Didn't have to. So instead of putting, um, instead of putting had to, I'm going to put didn't had to. Sorry, didn't have to. Okay. Didn't have to. Does that make sense for everybody, or did I lose somebody during this explanation? We are understanding. It's okay, teacher. At the moment is clear. Okay, I, I, I'm doing this because I need you to, I, and before I write the wish, I need you to understand how I'm changing the verb. First, the first thing I'm doing here is changing the verb to the past. The second thing I'm doing is changing the past verb to the opposite. So in this case, uh, I had was becomes negative wasn't. This one did, uh, sorry, had to, wear becomes didn't have to wear. And what is the negative of experienced? Didn't experience. Exactly. Does that make sense for everybody? Is that clear why experienced changed to didn't experience? Yes, okay. yes, yes teacher. teacher. Yes, teacher. Okay, good. And now the uh, the last one is wouldn't let. Now, I told you that I want the opposite. And in this case, wouldn't is in the in the negative. So what we're going to do with the opposite of the negative would be a po the affirmative. So what's the affirmative of wouldn't let? Would let Exactly, would let. Opposite of, of wouldn't is would let. Does that make sense? Everybody is clear about this or did I lose somebody on the way? It's clear, teacher. It's clear, teacher. Okay, perfect. In that case, what I'm going to do now, now that I, now that you have learned how to change the verb, this part is a piece of cake, right? This part is going to be a piece of cake. You guys have heard of that expression, right? A piece of cake? Very easy. Thank you. Exactly. It's going to be very, very easy. Like they say in Spanish, pan comido right okay so now that you understand that it's going to be super easy what you're going to say is i your 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 sentence is going to read this let me change okay i so you're going to say i wish and you're going to say i wish for all of them okay i wish okay over here i'm going to put the same thing i wish 
Okay. We're gonna we're gonna always gonna start with I wish. Okay. Well, uh, so far, I mean, it's not like you don't always have to start like this, but just for this exercise right here, we're gonna start with I wish. Okay. Then later on, you will learn that you can do other sentences, but for just for the purpose of these exercises, we're gonna start with I wish. Okay. So I wish. <clears throat> okay. And then after that, like I said, it's going to be super easy. Okay. It's going to be super easy because we're going to continue using the rest of the sentence, but using now this verb that has been changed. Okay. So we're going to say, I wish I wasn't broke right because i'm saying over here i am broke and all i'm doing is changing the am to wasn't so i wish i wasn't broke does that make sense yes teacher yes teacher yes teacher yeah yes teacher okay good now the second one i am not going to tell i'm not going to give it to you you are going to give it to me what do I write in the rest of the sentence? I wish I didn't have to wear face masks, face masks at all times in public. Very good. Yeah. Although we can keep the, the we, right? Because over here we have we. It doesn't have to be I. So we could say I wish we, and then we're going to use this part here, didn't have to didn't have to wear and then we continue with the rest of it face mask at all, at all time in public in public uh, face masks, masks at all times in public very good okay next one i wish we didn't experience so much violence in el salvador Perfect, there you go. I wish we didn't okay. I wish we didn't experience so much violence in El Salvador. Okay, good. Very good. And the last one. I wish my mom would let get me get married with the person I love. Exactly. I wish we're going to start with my mom. Okay. My mom. And then we're going to use this would let. Would let right here. Okay. Would let. And then we continue with the rest of it. Would let me get married with the person. I love okay there you go and that's how we create wishes how do you feel about that is this okay or do you have any problems it's okay no teacher it's clear teacher I have a question Sure, ask me. Este, cuando yo estaba este, trabajando en la plataforma, este, no le entendía muy bien este tema, entonces busqué a uh, un video en YouTube. Para... Try, to, try to ask me in English if it's possible. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, when I was working in the platform, uh, I didn't understand very well, so I watched a video in, on YouTube and, and they said, and we have to use wearing all the all the nouns. So my question is, in the sentences, I am broke. Este, no sería weren't. Okay. Yeah, that's an excellent question. That's a very excellent question. 
and I'm going to teach you, I'm, I'm actually going to um, give you the answer uh, right now. Um, the answer is yes and no. <laughs> okay. Um, you're, you're absolutely right. Yes, you are right. However, um, just because I didn't want to confuse everybody, I did it this way. Now, I wasn't broke is acceptable, okay? It's acceptable. You can say, I wish I wasn't broke. That is completely acceptable. Um, it wouldn't be a problem. However, when we're using the verb to be, the best way to to um, do the past of uh, the verb to be is by using the verb, sorry, the, yeah, using always were, okay? That is the best way, okay? Now, it, the thing is that the verb to be, remember, I think I've, 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 I think I've told you this before, if I'm not mistaken, I have. The verb to be is always an exception in English, okay? Um, I think we've talked about this before. The verb to be is always an exception, and that's why it's possible to say wasn't, but the best way to do it would be weren't, okay? And that is independent of the, the, the subject. It can be I, you, he, she, it, we, they. It's always going, it, the best way to do it is by using weren't simply because the verb to be is irregular, right? It's, it's an exception. It's an exception to the rule. So yes, it's possible to, for me to say weren't, although wasn't is also acceptable, um, but it, it's wasn't is acceptable in a more mm, like informal speech or everyday speech then it would be it would be more acceptable that way okay so you wouldn't write i wish i wasn't broke um in something that is formal you wouldn't do that uh you would you would only hear i wish i wasn't broke if you're speaking informally it's, a, it's basically informal speech does that make sense yes teacher Yes, teacher. Okay, good. So the two forms are possible. Um, now, personally, I'll, I'll tell you personally which one I would use. My 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 personal opinion. I would if I if you could get used to using word, it's probably the best. Simply because that one is more grammatically correct. However, it is important that you know that wasn't is something that you will you will hear some people say, and it's not incorrect. Okay, so if you hear someone say I wasn't uh, broke, that's okay, right? It, it's not they're not it's not incorrect unless they are writing it in a formal way. Then yes, it's going to be incorrect. Okay, but anything else that um, you want to ask about? No, teacher. So we understand how to change the verb to the past and then the opposite to be able to use in the wishes? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher, it's clear. Yes, teacher, it is okay. Okay. Okay, great. I'm glad to hear that. All right, in that case, I'm going to stop sharing right now. Um, let's stop sharing. Okay, so what I want you to do right now, I'd like you to write down five things that you would like to change 
from your life in this moment okay five things and or better said no no okay let me let me rephrase that think about five situations in your life that you think it would be a good idea to change five situations in your life that you would think it would be a good idea to change and what I want you to do is simply write don't write it in the don't write it in the in in the wish form don't write it like that instead I want you to write it in the form of uh, or just simply like in the in the present form okay just the regular present form does that make sense yes teacher so just write it like the reality in other words write the reality five sentences in reality i'll give you eh, no i don't know four four or five minutes to write that Five sentences about your reality that you would like to change. And if you have any questions, you can ask me. Okay, are we almost finished? I'm going to give you probably what, one more minute. One minute. Yes, teacher, more time, please. Is one more minute okay? Yes, teacher.
Okay, ready? A little. <laughs> Okay, because of time, guys, I'm going to, uh, whatever, whatever exercise, sorry, however amount of sentences you have, don't worry about it. Let's just keep it there. What I'm going to actually get you to do right now, I'm going to put you in uh, groups, mm, or maybe, no, I'll get you in pairs instead. Um, and what you're going to do is you're going to tell your partner your sentence, and your partner is going to change the sentence to the wish. So if you say, for example, I am broke, you're gonna part your partner is gonna say, I wish I wasn't broke, or I wish I weren't broke. Okay? So you're gonna tell your partner, and then your partner is gonna tell you, and you're gonna change it. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher, understand. Got it, teacher. Okay, I have opened all the rooms. Go ahead and join your group. Hi. Hello. Hi. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. What happened? Did you guys come back? Yes. Yes, yes teacher. <laughs> oh, that's crazy. Okay, let me try that again. That was very crazy. I don't know what happened there. I'm sorry. Okay, okay. let's try that again. Um, okay, here we go. Luis, are you having trouble to connect? Luis, are you having problems? Something I can help you with? Luis, any problems? Hi Luis, do you, are you having any, any problems I can help you with? Luis Canales, can you hear me?
Hi, Luis, can you hear me? Sorry, sorry. No, no, it's a problem. Hey, my daughter won't. My daughter, my daughter won't <laughs> do the homework. I wish your daughter will will yes. do the homework. <laughs> would would let uh huh. Would, would uh -huh. do the homework. Do the homework. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Tell me two. My experience in my first in my first job was so bad. Um, I wish I wish you didn't a, a bad experience. You didn't experience bad next in the next job. I know. I don't know. I don't know. I... Okay, keep it the same. Keep it the same that she's saying. Could you repeat what you said again, Roxana? Tell me, teacher. Can you repeat what you said? Uh, yeah, yes. Um, for I I had a dub, a dub, uh, For example, when she tell me my experience was. But but I had a, a dad, uh, respect the 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 respect about the adjectives but experience in the job. Okay, good. Yeah, I wish. So you say I wish I. So she's saying I I had a bad experience. I had so the op the 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 simple past of ha. Well, yeah, we could see, we could just say simple negative, change it to the negative, right? So the negative of um, of had it would be didn't have, right? Ah, so yeah. I wish yeah. I didn't, didn't have. have a bad experience. Does Last that make sense? Have didn't have. Yeah, exactly. Okay, it was my my dad. Yes. Yes. Thank you, teacher. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, guys, so we have uh, finished there the end of our class. Um, and I know that you you didn't have very much time uh, to practice, so we'll, pra we'll keep continue practicing a little bit more tomorrow. So what I want you to do is add five more. For homework, I want you to add five more realities, okay? And for these realities, I want you to change it. I want you to change the reality to the wish. Does that make sense? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, five sentences, ten in total, because five for reality, five for the. Wish. So you're changing the reality to the wish. Okay.
Okay, guys. Well, that will be all for today. It's been a pleasure. Take care. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye.